Royal Hurt. Harry's memoir did tremendous damage to Andrew making Queen worry to insomnia. Prince Harry's memoir release later in 2022 will be adding up to the Queen's worries over Prince Andrew, a royal biographer claimed. Prince Harry's memoir could add up to the Queen's bundle of problems as the release clashes with Prince Andrew's trial period, Ms Levin noted. The memoir announcement already hinted that the Duke of Sussex will be focusing on the experience and life lessons he learned while a senior member of the royal family. Harry is expected to talk in depth about the impact of Princess Diana's death on his adult life, with commentators warning the Duke could share further bombshell insight on his personal life. Speaking to Sky News, Ms Levin said, the Queen, should be really be getting excited and looking forward to her platinum jubilee. The problem there is all the case has to be prepared during those summer months. All the interviews and all the preparations the lawyers have to make will have to be done then. It takes the excitement down a bit if there is something sort of horrible in the background. She continued, I think also Prince Charles and Prince William will both be incredibly angry with him. They've been angry already but the fact that his case has been thrown out. And certainly not in the public opinion, which is very important to the royals at the moment because of this dodginess with him and dodginess with Prince Harry's book. A memoir will be coming out at the same time and would no doubt attack the royal family because it's all going to be about Diana. And he's getting millions for it, so there will be attacks there so it's very very difficult for them to do the duty, I imagine. The official release date of the memoir has not been announced yet. Royal biographer Katie Nichol told Closer magazine, the book will no doubt be full of more intimate and shocking revelations. Harry wouldn't have got a multi-million pound advance without promising some juicy details. A royal expert is not happy about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle not producing content for Netflix in more than 14 months. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex signed a deal with the streaming giant in September 2020, and now Daniela Elzer is asked about the content that the pair were supposed to deliver, reported Daily Star. She wrote in the New Zealand Herald that more than 14 months ago when the couple's money-making marriage with Netflix was first revealed, they loftily promised they would be making content that informs but also gives hope. Good oh then, but where is it? The couple had announced two projects for the platform, and one of them is a documentary about Invictus Games, which is Harry's charity sporting event. The other project announced by them is Pearl, which is a children's animation. According to Elsa, the two productions might be powerful and touching, but there are chances that viewers won't be thrilled by them. She said that on paper, the two projects don't exactly sound like they will be setting viewers or Hollywood on fire. After signing the deal with Netflix in 2020, Harry and Meghan said in a statement that their focus will be on creating content that informs but also gives hope, they said that as new parents, making inspirational family programming is also important to the couple, who have two children. The deal came less than a year after the two quit the royal family and moved to the US for a more independent life. Harry and his wife have a production company now. The couple can create content like children's programs, feature films, scripted shows, docuseries and documentaries. Meanwhile, public relations expert Richard Hillgrove claimed that Harry's new life in America is a million miles from what he wanted. He said that unfortunately, the royal is just like a rabbit in the headlights and caught up in it. Just like a rabbit in the